Yeah, hello to everybody and a very special welcome to the Central Deanery Consultation for the Parramatta Diocesan Synod. We are all very happy that you are here with us tonight. In fact, it seems like, as I'm looking around the room, we've got even more than we expected. You know, honestly, I didn't come with much expectation. Um, I just came with an open heart and just wanted to see where the Holy Spirit would lead me and what he would say to me tonight. There was something that was shared at my table. It was, we are a church rich with history and we don't want to change that. We are a church rich in tradition and we don't want to change that. But what we do want to change is the way that we live out church. And that, that just really was and I opened up for myself with the theme being, behold, I'm doing a new thing. How do we hold on to these things that have been part of our practices for thousands of years? How do we make it refreshing for a new generation to come, you know? From the second we started really just pausing to reflect on the scripture, I think the thing that really was resonating across the table was that each person there had a deep fire, like just burning in their heart, knowing that what we offer as a church, what Jesus offers to each of us personally is real. And that when we feel it, we get this incredible sense of healing and wholeness. And each person on that table wanted so much to be able to share that. I'm really hoping every person who comes to one of these events takes the opportunity to take a slice of what they've experienced and then bring that out to their homes, to their families and allow every person really that they come across to get a taste of what it is to be seen and heard and loved by Jesus. I think that call to deeper listening, I think this is probably for me, the first time that I actually zipped and listened carefully without writing notes in between, but to actually give what we as teachers call whole body listening to the other person. And I think that was powerful because then it captured not just what they said, but the expressions on their face as well. And I think that was powerful. Jesus, I need say I was a little bit skeptical at first about the process until we followed the process and it was really clear in our group that the Holy Spirit was working. There is a fear that comes with new that this new thing necessarily means that there is probably an old. We all know that it's a trust in Christ that we all had in common and that it's through him that we are able to determine whether or not there is a correct path or an incorrect path. Make a sacrifice of praise and say that. 